Hey, it's time for cooking with Brown. My name, it's Brown. So today, refreshing. Today, we're going to be making my favorite soup. It's going to be an al dente soup. We're not going to use heat because heat is for chumps. We like to eat our crap raw. This is one of my favorite soups. Um, Mr. Brown is very poor and I make no money. So I'm going to be resourceful today and tell you how to make this al dente, fresh, tomatoey, basil-y flavored, a spicy soup from just simple ingredients you can find at any other restaurant. Let's get started. First of all, you need to make sure you have a very clean workspace. Um, this one has not been cleaned and it's fine. First off, choice ingredients are important. Choice ingredients. Don't get the McDonald's level crap. You hear what I'm saying? Don't get it. No, Mr. Brown enjoys quality, which is why we use in straight water burger fancy ketchup. This is fancy. Zoom in on this. It's fancy. It's fancy. Regular ketchup won't cut it. It's not fancy enough. This isn't your mom's lame tomato soup. No, this is Mr. Brown's al dente spicy tomato soup. It requires fancy ketchup. Now you might be saying, now Brown, that's just fancy ketchup. Where are we getting the spice? I'm gonna help you out. Spicy ketchup. It's a twofer right here. This one's already busted. We don't need it. It's out of here. That's low quality. Someone spilled ketchup on my thing. It's fine. It's over there now. What's up? Now, but this is, we can't, someone put potato on this one. That's mislabeling, poor quality control. All right, <laughs> next up is my last ingredient. Now this is a trade secret, I'm letting you guys in on this. We get the spice from the fiery, fancy, spicy ketchup, which basically they take this ketchup and like squeeze poison and acid into it. But we need to make it hotter. Hot sauce, not gonna work, that's for chumps. Your little sister's not here, no mild sauce, no. We're going straight for freaking Diablo sauce. Do you hear me on this? Diablo, that's Spanish for hot and also the devil. So we're gonna use devil sauce and a little bit of fire and just cause your sister needs to be happy, we're gonna sprinkle with some mild sauce cause it needs to happen. Now, if you're like Mr. Brown, you don't have dishes because those cost money. So let me tell you what you need to get. I found this in the trash can outside of my room. It's a CD holder. We, it's fine. You know what? It's mostly pretty clean. We're going to eat out of that. It's going to be our primary mixing bowl. I was also able to steal this from the teacher's lounge. It's a 2002-2003 Tiger's Cup. I mean, it either belongs in a museum or the trash, and uh, we're just going to take it and use it for our own. So here we go. This is going to be our serving dish. And spoons, anybody can eat soup with a spoon. Am I right? It takes real man to eat soup with a fork. Let's begin the process. First off, we need to um, peel and squeeze our fresh tomato ketchup. This was broken. We're gonna get another one. We don't mess around with faulty tomato ketchups. I mean, they are Whataburger, but those people at the factory just get lazy. So just squeeze that in. It's okay to mix in the containers. It's got zest in it. It's delicious. So I keep squeezing that in. It's time to switch it up to the spicy. Let's do this. Oh, I got some on my thumb. Mm, that's good. Now, how many are you serving? Is it just you? Is it you and your bros? Is it you and your hoes? I don't know. Mix it up to the correct amount that you need. All right, well, okay, that's good. Now, be careful with this. You get this in your eye, you will die. It actually contains small portions of the devil who Taco Bell captured with an evil enchanted crystal, and they shave off portions and put it in their sauce. Yes, if you do not want to be demon possessed, do not get this in your eye. Look at that satanic goodness. Okay, a little bit for your mom. That's fiery, your mom's heart. A little bit for your sister, she's not. Mm, that's good. Let's stir it up. 
Now, you've got to make sure this is thoroughly, 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 thoroughly mixed. Now, the difficult part is extracting the juice from the mixture. So what we're going to do is just going to eat it right out of this. That's what we're going to do. So let's give this a taste test. This is our al dente sauce. Thanks for watching Cooking with Brown. Next time, we cook your sister.